Good morning, First United Methodist Church of Orlando. Thank you for joining me for our midweek devotional on Wednesday, June 9th. I'm standing here in my dining room. My husband and I moved into, uh, well, we bought this house uh, May of 2020, and I moved in after we got married. But uh, when we were looking at the house, the previous owners uh, had this beautiful mirror on this wall in the dining room. And that makes sense because oftentimes in a dining room you have um, maybe a big piece of art or a mirror or you know pretty things in the dining area at your house. When we closed on the house and we came into the house for the first time as the owners, uh, where the dining room was, there was a window and the window looked out into the garage. Now you can imagine that's probably not the best view for you know, sitting at the table and eating or when you're in the kitchen or other parts of the house and you look out and you look into the dining room and you can see straight into the garage, which is messy, by the way. Um, my garage is very messy. So over a, for over a year, we've had this window um, really to nowhere and kind of an eyesore. It was a problem. And my husband and I, we've been talking about how we wanted to uh, cover up the window to do something to make it a little more visually appealing uh, to not just have a view to the paint cans in the garage and we knew we wanted we knew there was a problem and we knew we we needed a solution but we couldn't quite agree on what we wanted and even kind of thinking through how we would make it happen uh, we just felt like we maybe were lacking some of the vision or some of the expertise or some of maybe the tools that were needed to accomplish uh, this project. Well, fast forward uh, almost a year and we were in conversation with uh, my dad, my mom and dad, and my dad said, oh, I have some cedar wood that he had uh, saved from a house that was being torn down. Uh, my dad's a collector of things, and so he had this cedar wood that he had actually given to a friend. And he said, I don't know if he's used it. Let me find out. So he talks to his friend, who's also a handyman and a carpenter, and he said, no, I just it's good wood, it's, it's cedar wood, it was coming from the inside of a house, so it's in good shape, but I just really haven't found a good project for it. Ding, 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 ding. My dad and this uh, handyman, carpenter friend, Big Mike, uh, got this wood and uh, got the measurements for the window space and they came up with this plan uh, to build this sort of pallet wall thing, although it's you know from cedar wood, not necessarily like a, an old pallet. Um, they built a frame and the frame like slid right into the window frame and then they covered it with these, these planks. And now this, this piece is here. I mean, the wood it's in and itself, I think is kind of pretty and kind of is almost pretty on its own, um, but gives me the opportunity to hang um, other pretties. Oftentimes you and I have stuff. Perhaps it's physical things that are lying around our houses and our homes and our garages that we don't really have a use for anymore. And maybe we don't really know what it can be you know, what kind of new life it could have. Um, it's stuff we've collected, it's stuff we've um, had left over, and so it's just sitting around. But I think also within ourselves, you and I have abilities, gifts, knowledge, talents uh, that often go unused. Perhaps they're left over uh, from a previous season in our life and we just haven't found a new way to use them yet. Friends, I believe our God is always a God of creation and recreation. Our God is in the business of making all things new. God can take the leftovers of our lives, uh, the leftover wood from a home, um, our leftover talents and abilities, um, our resources, our knowledge, the things that we think, gosh, there's no way that the things that I have can make something good or be part of something bigger than itself or be part of something beautiful. And our God says, no, 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 no. I'm creating and making all things new. So today I just invite you to think about what do you have 
What do you have lying around your house? What do you have just within yourself even, an ability and a, and a talent um, that you maybe think is small, inconsequential, perhaps it's a leftover. <laughs> perhaps it's something that you really don't need anymore, but actually it could be of great value. It could be of a great blessing to someone else. How are you sharing those resources? How are you sharing yourself uh, to be a blessing to others? I'm so grateful that my dad, I mean, he's my dad, so I probably kind of forced him, roped him into it, but I'm so glad that his friend, um, someone that I don't really know very well, uh, was willing uh, to use his skills um, and talents, his vision for how to make this project a reality um, and you know, be a blessing for me and for Michael, my husband. Friends, I believe that that's you too. <laughs> you have a power within you. You have something within you that can be a blessing to others. And so I encourage you this day to consider how, um, how you might share with others and be blessed in the process. God is indeed making all things new in your life and in my life. Will you participate with God in that work of recreation? Have a wonderful week. You are loved. See you around.